This is the ST1 Vision by Saltfire, and it is brilliant. Hi, I'm Gabriel. My family have been manufacturing, designing, and selling stoves for three generations. And this channel has two sides, stove reviews and information, and mini films about influential people whose success story might inspire you. Check them out and leave me a comment. You could also like and subscribe to see more. This is part of the budget or entry ST range by Saltfire. These are all focused on wood burning and they make five different types. The ST1, this ST1 Vision, the ST2, the ST3, and then the ST4. They have a three year warranty. They're available in several colors. They're designed to be simple low maintenance and low cost. The largest ST4 does have a grate and an ash pan, but even then it's set up far more favours wood than coal. Okay, this is a really easy stove to light. This is a bit of a rarity because it's a wood burner with um, two controls. So it has a lower vent and an upper vent. But because it has two vents, you can close the door straight away and just leave them both open. Up to temperature in no time and we only lit it, as you saw, with three logs. No kindling, no small bits, three logs and one firelighter. Well, the hot range is DEFRA approved and eco-design ready. The least efficient ST3 is 76% efficient and the most is the ST2 at 79. So it's not that high, but it's always run clean. The only bit where I get a little bit of dirt when I've closed it down is right down at the bottom, but because there's the uh, log retainer there, you don't even notice that. I feel in the eyes of disclosure, I should say that Storm Arwen is blowing through, so it sounds whistly and muddly uh, when we've been using it. We haven't heard whistling from the air vent, so obviously this is an entry-level stove and you can feel that to a certain extent in the controls, rather than having air brought in through the back of the appliance or the base and all preheated, we've got little slots coming straight in through the door. Same on the bottom and the top. And uh, when you open the door, you find that that air isn't just brought into the firebox, it's brought into these two holes and then preheated. So that's partly why the efficiency figures on this stove aren't quite as high as some. But let's face it, this is a really cheap stove and these controls work really well. So these, this is where they open and when we close it down, those flames completely change straight away and the handle is positive and really nice. We test fuel economy by getting the stove up to temperature and then burning a single net of logs on it to see how long it will maintain operating temperature. And boy, was it a surprise. For an entry level stove, you tend to expect it to be a bit more greedy, slightly less controllable. But this burned on a single net of logs for 12 hours, which was absolutely fantastic. And on our final loading in another test, we filled it up with three logs and shut it down and it burned for 10 hours. Now, granted, I did have to coax it back into life, but I didn't touch it for 10 hours and I didn't use any kindling or fire lighters. I just put some small logs on it and blew on it a bit and off it went again. Well, you have to bear in mind this stove's cost. The metal is thin, I mean it weighs about half as much as some stoves of the same size. Uh, and the log retainer and the baffle plate, none of this is built for years of abuse. But the stove works brilliantly. 
I wouldn't buy this as a daily user, but if I wanted a stove as a backup and focal point for a snug or something, it's brilliant. So many people use their stove once a week or on a special occasion, and there's no point in spending a fortune on that. This is a little city car for going to and from the shops once a week. It's bad for the environment and plain wasteful to do that in a Range Rover. But this is just the right thing for most occasional users. I would genuinely buy one of these myself.